Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, doing another movie talk kind of thing, well, more of a TV show talk, but today we're going to be talking about, and for sure, I'm, first off, I probably should get out, before you, uh, if you must know, this is sort of a thing where I just sit here and talk, almost like it's a podcast sort of thing to myself, and we just talk about certain subjects in the horror genre or anime genre that, you know, really interest me and really I want to get my opinion on, so, and I really want to get my opinion on this new Chucky series coming out from Sci-Fi. Because I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a decent, you know, television person. I like some television shows. I'm not the biggest television show fan, though. Like, if you had to ask me, I'd probably tell you I'm more of a movie guy. I'm not really... I, I really don't care for television shows. You know, hell, I haven't even watched The Mandalorian, and I love Star Wars. But I really am more drawn in for to the movies than I am a television show. Because the movies kind of get to the point more. I'm not, I'm not saying The Mandalorian does not get to the point or anything like that. I know the show is fantastic because a lot of people have told me... Jordan, it's fantastic. You gotta watch it. I just, I'm not, I'm not drawn into it, and that's no sh slam against the Mandalorian. I'm sure it's a great piece of entertainment. It's just, it's not necessarily something I'm gonna dive right into. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's n nothing against that. <sighs> Sorry, that was me drinking water. And but we're gonna go ahead and dive right over to the article I brought up for the new Chucky series, so I can give you my personal take on the series, or what I think it sounds like, or how I think it sounds like. So we're going to go ahead and dive right over here and read it from Deadline. What it says, this article is called Chucky TV Series Ordered by Sci-Fi from Film Franchise Duo and Channel Zero Creator. Okay, here we go. Chucky is coming to TV. Woohoo! Sci-Fi has given a straight-to-series order to Chucky, a series revolving around the character at the center of the horror slasher child's play film series, the red-haired, freckle-faced doll possessed by the soul of a notorious serial killer, Charles Lee Ray, the series order was announced Saturday during NBCU Universal's presentation at the TCA Winter Press Tour in Pas Pasadena, California. The series produced by Universal Content Productions comes from the Chucky movie franchise creator writer Don Mancini and producer David Kurt Kirshner, as well as TV writer producer Nick Antosca, creator of sci-fi's anthology series Channel Zero, which I have not heard about, I, I don't think I've heard anything, so I'll probably have to look that up, and his studio-based Eat the Cat Banner, Emmy-nominated Harley P Payton, Twin Peaks, Sci-Fi Channel Zero, will also serve as executive producer Mancini, who peened the film, penned the film franchise, will write the adaptation, serve as showrunner, and direct the first episode. Sci-Fi has been expanding the scope of its genre programming beyond sci-fi to other areas, including horror, most recently with the horror anthology series Channel Zero, so it's an anthology series, okay, created as a, created executive producer by Antosca, on which Mancini served as writer-producer. The character Don and David created had has terrified audiences for over 30 years. The long, longevity and legacy of Chucky speaks to the creative storytelling and the loyal fans of the film series has collected over the years, said Chris McCumber, President Entertainment Networks USA and Sci-Fi. We are excited to once again partner with Nick and UCP on this new sci-fi series and are incredibly proud to bring Chucky to television for the first time with the original creators. In the new Chucky television series, after a vintage Chucky doll turns up at a suburban yard sale, an indelic American town is thrown into chaos as a series of horrifying murders begin to expose the town's hypocrisies and secrets. Meanwhile, the arrival of enemies and allies from Chucky's past threatens to expose the truth behind the killings, as well as the demon doll's untold origin, origins as the seemingly ordinary child who somehow became this notorious monster. So we are going to be getting a origin story to Chucky, practically. The project had been in development at the network for over a year. I've long wanted to bring Chucky to television, and sci-fi is the perfect network for us, Mancini said at the time. The show will be a fresh take on the franchise, allowing us to explore Chucky's character with a depth that is uniquely afforded by the television series format, while staying true to the original vision that has terrorized audiences for over three decades now. In 1988, Chucky slashed his way into the pop culture's zygist, zygists, zeitkist, can't repeat can't pronounce that. With the premiere of Child's Play directed and co-written by Tom Holland, produced by Kirshner and based on the story by Mancini. It spawned six sequels, all of, the man all of which Mancini wrote and Kirshner produced. Mancini also directed three of the films in the franchise, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, and Cult of Chucky. 
And if you know me personally, I hated Seed of Chucky. I did not like Cult of Chucky pretty much almost at all. And I really enjoyed Curse of Chucky. That's practically the only one I actually liked of his directed films. Chucky joined sci-fi's lineup of originals, including drama series Resident, Alien, Winona, Earp, Earp, uh, Vagrant, Queen, Van Helsing, and The Magicians, premiering Season 5 on January 15th, Late Night Animation Block TZGZ, and Fan Focus franchises produced in conjunction with Sci-Fi Wire like Con After Dark. Okay, so that was the entire article. So, it sounds like with this Chucky thing, we are going to be getting an origin story on how Chucky became the notorious monster, so I'm sure we're going to see a lot of backstory stuff with him as a kid, his parents being abusive or something like that, him getting into witchcraft. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of that stuff in the series, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of Jennifer Tilly at some point, and a lot of probably Glenn too, because Glenn was a part of the canon, so we'll probably be seeing a lot of him, Glenn Glenda, whatever you want to pronounce him. Or her, uh, but overall, I think this is going to be a fun series for fans. I I think if you're a fan of the Mancini movies, you're probably gonna like this a lot. I think if you're a fan of the Chucky franchise, you're probably gonna dig this a lot. Um, for me personally, I'm not a big television fan, but I know they are bringing back Brad Dorf to do the voice of Chucky, so that is pretty exciting. However, um, I, I mean, I'm interested. Don't get me wrong. I might watch the first episode, see how it plays out, because I loved Ash vs. Evil Dead, and Ash vs. Evil Dead, you know, really surprised me. So this movie, this series might surprise me. But I'm not, like, I'm not, like, looking forward to this as much as I am something like Halloween Kills. You know what I mean? Like, this is just, to me, this is like, oh, this is very interesting that they are taking, it's finally, it's about time, you know, a classic slasher like Chucky, or somebody has their own television show. And I'm not saying, you know, slashers have not had their own television shows before. I know Freddy Krueger has had uh, Freddy's Nightmares. But... This is going to be... And I, Freddy Krueger didn't really show up that much in Freddy's Nightmares. He was, like, here and there kind of thing. But Chucky, you know, will be... This is a pretty much a show dedicated to Chucky. And I'm not sure if he's going to be a CGI doll or he's going to be a an actual animatronic. I'm hoping they go the animatronic route, but there's no really telling what they could do with this. Because the trailer, the teaser that they released, he looked straight up CGI from the distance, so I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing with that, and if the CGI looks good, I'm not going to have no complaints, but if it doesn't look good, then it's going to be a bother, you know, so we're going to have to see about that, but overall, I'm getting, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm curious about this uh, series, I'm not like diehard wanting to know what they do, I think it's going to be fun, I think they're going to, if they bring the tone that, you know, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, and a lot of those ones had, I think it's going to be a really fun, throwback, nostalgic kind of show, and I'm hoping that's the route they go with, because I don't think they need to, I don't want them to focus on what, you know, Cedar Chucky did, because Cedar Chucky, you know, was fucking awful, I don't think they should go down the route of Cult of Chucky, I think they need to stick to a more simple kind of tone, but I'm really digging it, I mean, I'm one of the few people who actually loved the remake of Child's Play, because, I mean, that sh it did the perfect blend of what's new and what's you know the same and it was the perfect blend they didn't do anything that would have pissed off any of the fans you know the look of chucky really got under people's skin a little bit but they really didn't do anything that would piss off the fans in the slightest you know so i mean th it seems like they know what they're doing i'm not gonna like criticize it until i see it i'm hoping that the doll is animatronic though because that would be something that would definitely take me out of it if the CGI looked really shitty. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to see a shitty ass CGI Chucky running around the screen. And yeah, the voice helps a lot, but like when you look at a doll and you know, a lot of people had a problem with that remake Chucky where he looked like it and he didn't look the best, right? I had no problem with the look. I know he's an ugly looking doll, but I, I, I did, it didn't bother me like it bothered a lot of people, but uh, yeah, certainly would have bothered people and it would certainly bother people if Chucky did not look like Chucky in this new show. So guys, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. What are your opinions on this new show? Are you guys excited to see it? Do you guys even care? Be honest with me. Of course, you know, like the video, let us know that you love our content or you appreciate our content quite a bit because I know a lot of people got, I know, I know a lot of guys like to watch our videos, like the videos and just show a lot of support and that really does help. Um, and it also, Please, please, please go over and check out Michael Border playing Outlast. And even if you don't like, even if you don't like the video, like the video because I want to see him do a part two. And the only way the guy's gonna do a part two is if people start liking that video. He's not gonna do a part two unless people start liking that video because he feels like you know he gets scared easily and he doesn't like that. So I'm hoping we get to see this part two because I really want to see him get scared. So guys, please do that. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And guys, as always, I appreciate watching and do take care.